Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for May 4th of 2024 is titled 3 ATs. So what do we see here? Well, here we see three auxiliary telescopes known as ATs down in the mountains of Chile. Now, while these may resemblance to the robot from Star Wars R2-D2, perhaps a little bit, and that's maybe done for May the 4th, of course, being today. And you, these are what are used for what is called interferometry. Now, interferometry has been used for a long time with radio telescopes, but is now becoming more and more used with optical telescopes. And it is a way to combine the signals from various telescopes together to simulate a larger telescope. Essentially, you can observe the same object with two separated telescopes. And the combined image then has the resolution or the detail corresponding to the distance between the telescopes. The resolving power of a telescope depends on how big it is. So a small telescope has a very poor resolving power and can't see a lot of detail. Whereas a much larger telescope will have a very good resolution and can separate very closely spaced objects when observing. So we want the biggest telescope we can get. However, it becomes difficult to build giant telescopes. So for an optical telescope, how do you build something so large that we build telescopes that are eight meters across and 10 and even larger with some of the ones in progress? But how do you build an optical telescope that is 100 meters or 1000 meters a kilometer across? How could we possibly do that to get even better resolution. Well, interferometry is how we do how we can try to do that. And that is using telescopes that are then separated as we see these here that can be used in conjunction with the much larger VLT, which is also located here to simulate a larger telescope. So while it won't have the collecting area because a lot of it is empty, a lot of that is empty space that is not receiving the light of a large telescope, it will have the resolving power of a much larger telescope. Now again, this has been used in radio astronomy for a long, long time. Radio waves, much longer wavelengths are much easier to combine. So radio telescopes can now be combined on different sides of the world. Measurements can be made and then combined together, giving us a telescope the size of Earth. Optical astronomy is not quite to that level yet, but is definitely expanding and giving much more detail able to be seen with using multiple telescopes, even small telescopes, and combining those signals together. Now, of course, this being in the southern hemisphere up in the sky, we do get to see the two small satellite galaxies of our own Milky Way. And those are the Magellanic Clouds, the large Magellanic Cloud is about centered in the image and a little bit up and to the right of that, the small Magellanic Cloud. So we can see those here over the observatories, of course, with a multitude of other stars also visible in the sky. So that was our picture of the day for May 4th of 2024. It was titled three ATs. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture preview to be death by black hole. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.